unboxing um, is graphic novels from Simon & Schuster. So let's get started. Um, so the first one is Big Nate Blow the Roof Off by Lincoln Pierce. Um, and Big Nate is a huge favorite in my house. My son has been reading Big Nate since I, th I would say about third grade. And even though now he's in 10th grade, I mean, Big Nate is like one of those series that really appeals to a wide um, range of ages. Um, kind of like Kelvin and Hobbes. And so always a popular favorite in our house. Um, there's a poster in the back. And my daughter's actually babysitting a third grader. She's a nanny for a third grader part-time. And apparently Big Nate is the only book series she will read, period. Big Nate, it's Big Nate or nothing. So um, I'm actually working on a graphic novel um, post for the year, my favorite graphic novels of the year. And so um, I think the publisher sent me these um, to add to my list. Um, the next one is Elvis Puffs Out. A Breaking Cat News Adventure by Georgia Dunn. And, you know, I find this series to be very funny and engaging. And at first, when I first looked at it, I was kind of like, what? Like, I couldn't, like, the illustration style, like, wasn't typical, you know, sort of graphic novel drawings. Like, it just was more, like, paint, painterly. And, in fact, it's sort of more of a watercolor type of illustration style. And I, I was like, whoa, like, what's that? That's, like, that seemed weird to me but then as I started reading the story which also took me a while to figure it out it's that um you know it's a uh two parent uh two adults who live with a bunch of cats and these cats are like roving reporters and they report on all the news both in the house and in the neighborhood and then kind of the neighboring cats that they meet uh become part of this I guess like every cat is like a rep news reporter, like a TV news reporter. And so it's it's kind of a like different angle, but it actually really works and it's funny. Um, and, um, you know, it, it was, I don't know, I really enjoy it, the, 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 the storyline. And a lot of times I have trouble keeping track of all the characters, especially when they're drawn too similarly. Um, but these cats are pretty distinct. And, um, yeah, it, it, it's like, I don't know, to me it's like a sleeper hit because it's, it's, it's really, you wouldn't, I wouldn't, I didn't think that I would like it and then I end up really loving this series. It's, I think it's hilarious. Um, another one that I really like is this, um, Phoebe and Her Unicorn series by Dana Simpson. And to me, this is sort of like a Calvin and Hobbes, you know, equivalent. It's like the closest thing to Calvin and Hobbes, um, it, but like a girl version. So Phoebe has this imaginary unicorn who has a big personality, but she has, the unicorn has kind of philosophical tendencies like Hobbes, but the unicorn also is like really like uh, egocentric. Like she just thinks she's so beautiful, which I think is hilarious. And so they go on a lot of adventures. Um, Phoebe has some f friendship issues. Um, and, um, you know, and the unicorn is imaginary to everybody else. Uh, you know, they can't see the unicorn, but it also has this sort of a philosophical humor, like a Calvin and Hobbes. And I think, I think this is a wildly popular New York Times bestselling series. Um, so anyway, I was just thinking, like, for the third grader that loves Big Nate, you know, I'm hoping that you know she would try Phoebe and a Unicorn, and also might really like Phoebe and a Unicorn, but. You know, that's something that i got to get my daughter to sort of encourage her to try new books. Um, so the last one is That Can Be Arranged, A Muslim Love Story by Huda Fahmy. Um, and so, oh, just um, in terms of arranged marriage, um, I don't know if anyone has seen the um, Netflix series about... Um, Indian arranged marriages by a matchmaker in Mumbai. Um, so I watched, I binge watched the whole season. Like there's only been one season out so far and I am obsessed with that series. And also it gave me a, a much greater understanding of arranged marriage, which also exists in Asian culture, but like I just wasn't that familiar with it because I don't think it's as popular like in China, Japan or Korea, which is more my experience based on my ethnicity. 
Um, but the whole thing about Indian arranged marriage, it, it, it isn't like forcibly arranged is what I learned from watching the series. It's really just like um, a very personalized and somewhat expensive, you know, matchmaking service, like a, you know, like a, um, you know, like, like, like any, like any other kind of app, you know? Um, so anyway, this is a Muslim love story and already from the cover, you can see there's a little bit of, um, you know, mixed messages here where the woman seems, you know, infatuated and the man here seems um, to have some questions, like he's not quite sure how he feels. So um, this book has a soft cover and it's a it's square shaped size. So it, it, I don't know, it's different. The, the edges are rounded. It almost feels more like a, like a diary or like a, you know, like a uh, sketchbook, which is kind of fun. And then the panels, are different so it's not you know sort of in your typical you know like little boxes you know sort of um, laid out but it's really more like um, a book but with um, you know sort of you know illustrated illustrations and then you know um, you know word you know word bubbles and so it's interesting right I you know so there's a there's just sort of like a, a full storyline going on at the top um, which is like, you know, just like a, like a narrative story. And then you have sort of running alongside these cartoon panels, mostly just one, one or two per page, but it isn't, it's like an interesting hybrid. Um, so it looks, it looks great. I can't wait to read this. And um, I'm not sure the age range for this, but maybe it's eight and up. Um, so it's a um, glimpse into choice versus tradition um but maybe even matchmaking this might might be even slightly older i'm not quite sure actually the age range i'll look that up i feel like matchmaking you know that's almost like young adult as a theme um and yet the way it's designed and presented you know it looks like someone you know even six or seven or eight would be able to handle you know, in terms of the number of words on the page and how appealing it is, you know, with really big drawings and really big text in the, in the, in the thought bubbles. So anyway, thank you so much to, um, I think it's actually all coming from Andrews McNeil Publishing. So thank you to Andrews McNeil for giving me four more um, graphic novels to add to my list. As you can see, I have some more here that I am reading or have read. And then I will do a summary post to kind of go over all the great graphic novels I've read all year. I have more that I gave to my son because my son likes graphic novels. That includes uh, Dragon Hoops and Min Lee's um, Green Lantern and also um, When the Scar Stars Were Scattered. I have that as well that I am um, going to add. So thank you for watching.